truck's back on high ground, we have some time to kill. We decide to head down the coast for a bit of a look around. Get a load of that, mate. That's a fridge. I want to get some stuff in it. You don't know what you find on these beaches. These, these beaches are notorious because of the sow easterly pushes in here, and all that stuff from down south and out in the Coral Sea ends up on these beaches. And, and that's the worst part about it. It's not because people have been here, it's because people have been out there and it's ended up here. This stuff here, these floats, they're like by the thousands. They're solid plastic floats. And they come off longline vessels. It's just thousands of them. Simon's got the taste for coconuts after being out in the straits earlier. Oh yeah. There is everything on this coast. Wreck yachts and boats. If it floats, it ends up here. Some sort of marker beacon. Little stainless steel stuff going on. There's even a on-off switch. Look at that, mate. 20 minutes it took us to round that up. 20 minutes on this beach. There's everything from hard hats. There's a motorcycle helmet here. Look at that. I don't know where that come from. Someone's head. And someone's beer's not going to be cold anymore. They lost their perfectly good esky. The flipper here. Perfectly good. There's a basketball there. It's an old fuel tank. Anything that crazy. floats, mate. Anything that floats, that's why they call it floats. And... From new stuff to the very, very old. <laughs> that's all gone. That's come out of Papua New Guinea for sure. Looks like maybe an outrigger. You can see it's well made, it's like really carved out. And they really shaped it, eh? Like some real shape about it. It might be an outrigger. Some will put some effort into it. Yeah, it's probably an outrigger like that. Running to a main canoe. Enough exploring, let's head back for a cook-up. 